restraint technique so controversial, it was banned six months ago. But in documents tabled in Parliament last night, lawyers allege the practice is still being used. These complaint letters deal with some pretty horrific treatment of young people at Banksy Hill in Unit 18, including ongoing lockdowns and solitary confinement-like conditions, sexually inappropriate behaviour by officers, excessive use of force. You know, there's no easy solution, but there is a massive effort going on to improve the situation. In a statement, the Department of Justice said the ALS had raised 42 allegations of staff misconduct since January this year. Of those, it found no disciplinary breaches in 29 cases, with just one adverse finding against an officer who's being counselled. The other complaints are still being dealt with. This 15-year-old, who was assaulted by an officer last year, claims he was folded up as recently as two months ago, despite the practice being banned because it was potentially deadly. He's in Baxia Hill after being convicted of numerous crimes, including armed robbery. The Aboriginal Legal Service also alleges the boy swallowed glass he found on the floor while inside a cell under intense supervision. The complaint alleges this happened twice, and when his lawyers raised concerns, a nurse attended and said he was fine. It's real scary. And then I think, is it going to be another week before DCP tell me that he's been involved in a serious accident or, you know, even worse, dead? The mother says the boy is currently in hospital, having swallowed glass once again. The Department of Justice did not respond to the ABC's questions about the latest incident. Darina Zadvirna, ABC News.